All right, guys, Arduino tutorial number five, sequential LEDs. On this one, we're going to have a number of different LEDs, a red, a yellow, and a green, turn on sequentially and then turn off in the same order. So obviously we need a red, a yellow, and a green LED from your starter kit. Then we need three resistors. I've grabbed three, three 330 ohm resistors, but again, you can grab three 220 ohm resistors or whatever you have in your starter kit, as long as it's below like a thousand ohm. Okay, that's just there so we don't smoke the LED or the outputs of our Arduino Uno board. And aside from that, all we need is a bunch of jumper wires in order to make this guy work. Now, if you're like me, you just want to jump right into it because you've got the basics from the previous videos or from somebody else's videos, um, and you just want to see the code. So we'll start off here. Here's all the code that you need in order to make this guy work. And you can see it's sequentially turning on the red, the yellow, then the green, and then turning off red, yellow, green. Cool, eh? So have a look. It's very similar to the, the previous video. We just have to add in a few additional instructions for each of our red, yellow, and green LEDs. We're still making use of the delay time on and the delay time off. So let's get right into it. Uh, you can stop it here, copy down the code, and make it work, or follow me through in the rest of this video, and we'll just slowly build up this program in front of you. Also, if you don't have an Arduino Uno board yet, uh, you can do this on your computer. So go to www.tinkercad.com and then go in and log in and create a new circuit. Drop in an Arduino Uno board with your components here. So all your components are here. Here's our Arduino. Above, you've got your resistors and your LEDs. Drop those guys in. Once they're in, you can then change the characteristics. So I've made this one my yellow, this my green, so you can see here. You can change the resistor value just by going here um, and changing. Here, let's see if I can grab. There we go. You can change the ohmic value of your resistor. And once everything's in there and you've set up your circuit properly, then you can go into your code. You can write your code below, upload and run. And then all you have to do is hit start simulation, and it should work exactly the same as it would on your Arduino board. There's the red, then the yellow. Beautiful. Then the green. There we go. And it turns off in the same sequence there. Cool, eh? So you can do this on the train into, uh, into school or to work, right? Play around with this on the computer, get it working. And then once you've got your code figured out and everything's simulating properly, then when you get home, just download it to the Arduino IDE, then upload it to your Arduino board, and then you're able to see it in real time. All right, guys, let's build up this, uh, this circuit in order to make this work. All right, guys, so we should be able to rock through this because we're still using the same instructions as we had on the previous video. We just have to add in a few additional ones for the additional LEDs. So let's start off at the top here and let's put some integer statements. So we'll put INT for integer. It's got to be lowercase though. Okay, then I'm going to say uh, for my red LED that I'd like that to be on pin 13. Okay, then I'm going to do integer for the next guy. The next one is my yellow LED. And that's obviously going to be connected up to the next guy on pin 12. And then my last guy, I've got my green LED. And that guy is going to be connected to pin 11. Okay, then below we're going to do um, our integer for the delay on. Let's keep this caps lock. Delay on time. What is going on, Pete? Come on. I can't decide what I'm doing here. I think I'm going to put... Okay, looks good. Okay, uh, and for now, I'm going to say that we're just going to do a thousand milliseconds or one second, and we can change that later on. And then again, anytime that we change this value right here, it'll change everything in our program below. Okay, then below, we're also going to make use of a delay time off. And for now, I'm just going to make that one second as well. Excellent. Okay, that's everything for our integers. Then below in the void setup, remember that in the void setup, it runs once and that's it. 
So what we need to do here is we need to do our pin modes. We need to tell the Arduino whether those pins are going to be an input or an output. Now, instead of saying 13 and then an output, we've already labeled 13 as red LED, right? So we've created that global variable there. So we'll say red LED, okay? And then we're going to say that that guy is an output. Beautiful. And you'll see that the output turns blue because I have it in all caps. Okay, then we're going to close this up, semicolon, and we're good to go. Okay, then again, right here, we've got to go lowercase pin, uppercase M O D E, pin mode. Then we've got, what's the next one? The yellow. And these have to be written exactly the same. So yellow, yellow LED has to be written exactly the same as this up here. And we're going to make that an output. Close this up. There we go. Semicolon. And then finally, our pin mode for our green LED. And again, that guy is going to be made as an output. Close this up. Semicolon. And we're ready to rock. Okay, make sure that everything is in between your parentheses here. So to close the void setup, we have the close parentheses right here. Nice. Then below in the void loop, um, this is where we're going to put the main code, and it's going to run repeatedly, right? All the way down to the bottom and then back up to the top. Okay, so let's start off, and we're going to turn the first LED on, the red LED. So we're going to do a digital write. So digital d capital W, R-I-T-E. Okay, and we're going to say that the red LED is going to go high. Okay, so then we're going to have 5 volts going to that guy now. So we'll do a semicolon, and let's make a note here that this sends 5 volts DC out to the red LED. Beautiful. Okay, then we're going to put a delay. So we're going to put delay and we're turning this on, so we're going to make use of the delay time on. So delay has to be spelled the same as I had up above. Okay, looks good. And that value, the delay time on, is now equal to a thousand. But when I change this value right here, it will change this and any other delay time ons I have below. Don't forget your semicolons here. And on this guy just provides a delay. Beautiful. Uh, then when that guy turns on, then the next thing we want to do is we're going to do a digital write and then a delay and a digital write and a delay. So let's just do this to save time. Let's copy this bad boy right here. Come on. And let's paste it in. And let's paste it in one more time. Beautiful. Now all I need to do here is say that my next guy is going to be the yellow LED. Looks good. And finally, this guy right here is going to be my green LED. It's the same instruction all the way through and same delay all the way through. Okay, looks good. Now that all three of those guys are going to turn on, then we want them to turn off. So we're essentially going to do the same thing. So let's grab all of this, copy this guy, and then come on, and then paste that guy. Come on, edit, paste, beautiful, okay? And instead of having the red LED go high, then we're going to have it go low, so make sure your caps lock are on, okay? Then we're going to make the yellow LED go low, and then we're going to make the green LED go low. Beautiful, okay? Uh, this is not our delay time on. We can change this to off. And then we should be able to um, change that value as well. So we'll get this guy and change it to off, and this guy and change it to off as well. Beautiful. Okay. And this guy provides a delay and starts back at the top. Now, I put this in like void loop. 
Okay, that looks good. Strange. Before, when I did that, uh, it made this blue, but it could have been that I put it somewhere else in the program. Nice. That's everything, guys. So let's verify this and see that everything is okay. Uh, it's asking me to save this guy. So we'll save this as sequential LEDs. Okay. Uh, just puts it into this folder for me. There we go. Compiling the sketch. Always takes a little bit of time because I'm always doing a thousand things in the background. There we go. Okay. Done compiling and everything looks mint. Let me connect in my Arduino board now. Now this fires on right away because I already had the program in there from before. Uh, but let's drop this program in there. So we're going to upload to the Arduino. We'll see the TX and RX LEDs flash at us. And then we should see the same sequence of events. Okay, problem uploading to the board. Now remember I had this before, so we're going to go to Tools, um, and then we're going to go to Board. Okay, that's the right board. And then we're going to go to Port. Uh, now for some reason it's not seeing that port. It's always the little things. I didn't have my uh, computer hooked up to my external USB. So let's go to Tools. We'll go to here. We're looking at the Arduino Uno board. Looks good. Ah, there's my COM3. Beautiful. Okay, so we have already verified this guy. Let's upload this and see how she works. So we'll see the TX and RX blinking at us there, and then we should have that sequence on the red, yellow, and green LEDs coming in. There we go. Beautiful. And off, off, and off. Beautiful. Red, yellow, and green. And then turning off in the same sequence with the same time delay of one second. Beautiful. Right on, guys. If you got this working, good job. Uh, if we wanted to change this value, we could change this to um, half the value. So we could do 500 or half a second. Okay, let's upload that and we'll see how it changes the, the timing there. Cool, eh? Let's see if we can get this down to, let's see if we can get it going at a disgusting rate. Let's go 100. Nice, eh? And if we try to break it, 50. I don't know, it's gonna be tight. Let's see, I don't know if it's gonna work with 50. Yeah, it still works. Cool, eh? Very cool. All right, so play around with the numbers here. Um, see if you can get uh, everything working from start to finish. Uh, if you want, you can take a screenshot of what I have here and then do two displays and have mine up at the top and then just slowly work through it. Doing your integers, then doing your void setup and doing your void loop. Again, the only way you're going to uh, figure this out and learn it properly is to physically type it in. Even the point where I did the copy and paste, um, you know, just physically write it in a couple times there just so it gets it in your head. Uh, doing the copy and paste, you're not going to learn it as well as you would with typing it in each letter at a time. Then you'll see where you're going to make some mistakes, you know, see if you'll miss a, a semicolon or something like that. Um, or miss a value or like type this in improperly. And in doing so, uh, you'll learn the mistakes that you're going to make. And then later on in troubleshooting, when you get into uh, more complicated circuits, it'll really help you out. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, not sure what we're going to do next, but uh, check out the next video and uh, we'll keep building on what we learned on this one.